What's going on? I hope you're having a great day when you're watching this. Today, I'm gonna to take you guys through a full day of eating based on the grocery haul I did in the last video. So I'll go through the meals I make, exactly how I prep the food, the macros, all that good stuff. But we're starting off this morning like I start off almost every morning on this bulk with a protein shake. This is Transparent Labs, the 100% grass-fed whey isolate protein. It comes out to be 28 grams per serving, as you can see right there. Boom, 28 grams. And then also we're gonna pair this with a banana right here. So this is two scoops of that protein with some almond milk as well as a banana. The macros for this come out to be 390 calories, 32 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 59 grams of protein. This is my breakfast almost every morning. Get some protein in the system first thing off the bat. Also, it's a little bit easier getting down, drinking some calories. And I will go ahead and whip up our breakfast casserole for our next meal. Now we can whip up our next meal as well as breakfast for the rest of the week. And we're gonna be making a breakfast casserole. This has hash browns, eggs, egg whites, cheese, and pork sausage. A more in-depth video on the entire recipe is on my channel in my breakfast casserole recipe. But I'm still gonna give you guys the basics right here. We need 30 ounces of hash browns. We're gonna use eight eggs. We're also gonna be using 200 grams of egg whites. We need one entire packet or let's see, um, eight servings of some sort of cheese. This is reduced fat. Boom. Once again, this was all bought in my last video, the grocery haul that we did. And then two things of pork sausage. And basically all we need to do is cook our pork sausage over on the stove. And then it's more of assembly. We need to crack some eggs, pour some egg whites, add paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and salt into that egg wash mix. Put our hash browns in our nine by 13 by two baking dish. I think the two inches is like the depth. But yeah, I'm gonna cook this pork sausage, crack some eggs, and put together the casserole. Also, I know I said I think 200 grams of egg whites, but we're actually bumped that up. I was doing some math on my phone and I need a little bit more protein in the actual casserole. So we're gonna go with 500 grams of egg whites in total. Now it's time to assemble our casserole. We have our cooked pork sausage right here. We have our eight eggs and 500 grams of egg whites, as well as all of our seasonings mixed up in here. Then we also have our packet of cheese. We'll go ahead and add our pack of cheese on top of our hash browns to start. So this is that entire 30 ounce bag of hash browns spread out. We're gonna put down a thin layer of cheese to start. Then we'll go ahead and add our pork, eggs, and a little bit more cheese on top. Now we've got our cheese laid down, we'll go ahead and spread out a thin layer of pork sausage. Next, we'll go ahead and pour our eggs. I do my best to kind of evenly distribute it because it does soak in pretty quick. So I like to start in one corner, work my way down and evenly distribute it across the casserole. Then we polish it off with the rest of our cheese. And here we have our uncooked casserole. We'll go ahead and throw this in the oven. I forgot to mention that. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now this can go in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes and then we'll let it sit. And that's our next meal. Just like that, we have our breakfast, the casserole is done. It took about 40 minutes and I let it cool down for about 10 to 15 because it comes out very, very hot. But yeah, we have this casserole right here. This is one sixth of the entire casserole. We're gonna pair that with some orange juice. But real quick, I'll read up the macros for the entire casserole and then you can split that up into any portions you want. I'm gonna do six portions, so I'll read those macros out as well. For the entire breakfast casserole that we just made, it comes out to be 4,350 calories, 188 grams of carbs, 252 grams of fat, and then 308 grams of protein. And I'm gonna divide the whole casserole into six different serving sizes. You could do six, you could do four, you could do eight, you could do 12, however many you want. Just go ahead and take the overall calories and macros and divide it by that number of servings. But for one sixth serving, it comes out to be 722 calories, 31 grams of carbs, 42 grams of fat, and 51 grams of protein. Yes, this is on the higher side fat-wise, but as I mentioned in my recipe video that's on my channel, but there are a few substitutions you can make it low fat. You can use just egg whites instead of whole eggs, and you can substitute instead of pork sausage, you can use something like ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, that's a little bit leaner. But yeah, this is absolutely delicious. I am bulking, so I need the calories. And then also we're gonna add a glass of orange juice on the side. This is just simply orange, pulp-free. I have no idea why anyone would actually want pulp in their orange juice. It's probably the same people that use crunchy peanut butter, absolute psychopaths. But with one serving of orange juice added, or about eight fluid ounces, the total meal comes out to be 832 calories, 57 grams of carbs, 42 grams of fat, and 53 grams of protein. So I'm gonna dig into this. This is kind of like 
our second breakfast, as you guys saw, I have that protein shake first thing in the morning, and then this is kind of like my first main meal. But yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. I'll see you guys at a pre-workout snack. Now I'm about to head to the gym and have my pre-workout snack on the way. I have one apple and two Rice Krispie treats. The macros for this come out to be 275 calories, 59 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and zero grams of protein. This is pretty much just pure carbs for a little bit of energy and a pump in the gym. Apple for some fruit, and then Rice Krispie treats for balance. Just got back from the gym and now we have our post-workout cocktail. It is a combination of post as well as creatine, both by Transparent Labs, Code Perez saves you 10%. I've actually been kind of forgetful about using this if I don't work out, so on the off days, I don't have it in like my ritual or like my post-workout routine. So I actually just set a reminder on my phone to take it. Um, I haven't had that reminder before. Oh no, I'm about to use my frother. Ah. And that is my mixer. Um, but yeah, so I normally take this after every workout. I'll remember, do it well, all that kind of stuff. But when I don't train on those days, I'm very forgetful and don't always take it. So I now just have a reminder on my phone right at noon, it'll go off. Um, obviously I train around noon, so I'll actually be in ride reminders for afterwards. But yeah, if you guys struggle to remember to take your uh, vitamins, your pre, post workout, whatever it is, go ahead and set a reminder on your phone. Um, I always check my notifications. So the fact that I have a little reminder, a little notification number on there to do this, yeah, helps me remember. But I'm gonna mix that up. Boom. And it tastes like a sweet pink lemonade, so that's delicious too. Tastes delicious, now we'll whip up our post-workout meal. Real quick, I'll show you the main ingredients of this chipotle bowl, but it's pretty simple. We just need to cook our chicken and then kind of assemble everything. But we have six ounces of chicken thighs right here, seasoned up and ready to go in the air fryer. I use this famous Dave's chicken rub. Hopefully that zooms in a little bit for you guys. But that I just pick up at any grocery store. I've been using this for probably a few months now and I haven't gotten tired of it, so we're gonna keep using it. But the chicken thighs will go in the air fryer for about 12 minutes at 365 degrees flip halfway. Then we're also gonna have this pouch of rice from the grocery store the other day. This is super simple, 90 seconds in the microwave, it's ready. We also have a guac pack, I'm stealing from my dad who loves his guacamole. We also have our salsa, our cheese, we're gonna do one serving of cheese, we're gonna do two servings of salsa, so the cheese comes out to be 28 grams or 90 calories a serving. We're also gonna have one serving of black beans, so this is from a can. Um, I'll grab the can real quick. This is just Kroger, black beans, no salt added, that I use one serving out of and then put the rest in this container to then use on the next day. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, cook everything up. My parents just got back from Denver, so I'm not gonna film the whole cooking process since they're coming in and out. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, whip this up, and I'll show you guys the final product and you guys macros. And here is our final product. We have our rice, beans, chicken thighs, cheese, salsa, and guac on top. We're also gonna add one serving of scoops on here. These are just tortilla, chips, I think 16, let's see, it's like um, 28 grams for 140 calories, so we're we'll adding those on, just for a little bit extra calories at the very end, but I use it basically to like scoop up the last little bit of rice and beans, because that's typically what's left at the bottom of the bowl. But this meal comes out to be 1,090 calories, 134 grams of carbs, 40 grams of fat, and 58 grams of protein. But the one thing I will say, you could make this extremely low calorie if you used half a bag of rice, you could add volume using shredded lettuce. You could use chicken breast instead of chicken thighs. You could go with no cheese or fat-free cheese. You could do no guacamole. You could do no chips. You could do salsa, which is very low calorie. Like this kind of meal can be changed and basically to fit any macros that you want and also any amount of volume or any amount of calories. Like I could definitely make this a 500 calorie bowl with the same amount of protein and the same volume with small substitutions like chicken breast, no guacamole, fat-free cheese, and lettuce instead of all the rice. Like there are options that you guys can make and little substitutions where you can eat very similarly how you do. You're just making small substitutions that'll add up and basically, not add up actually, they'll decrease the amount of calories you eat per day, but in a very similar style and manner of your eating patterns. But yeah, this is a lot of calories. I realize that um, it's not for everybody, but like I said, you can make small substitutions for it to fit for you. But me right now, I'm trying to bring up the weight in this bulk. I need the calories. So yeah, I'm gonna dig into this, watch some of the office. I'll check with you guys at the next meal. Now it is quite a bit later, as you can see, it is completely dark out, it is almost nine o'clock. The day got a little bit away from me, I had a whole lot of work to do, check-ins, YouTube stuff, thumbnails, editing, 
Um, yeah, just a lot of boring, not boring stuff. I enjoy it, but boring for the camera. Now we're gonna have our dinner. I am gonna do an entire breakdown of the recipe, like exactly how I cook it, everything in another video. But since it's nine o'clock, it's a little late. I don't wanna do like an entire full like recipe video. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much the ingredients. I'm gonna tell you how to cook it. I'm just gonna cook it and show you guys the final results, the macros, um, just the full day of eating. But the full recipe will be in a video very shortly. But it's also pretty basic and easy, so you could probably repeat this just watching this video, but I will do, once again, a full in-depth video. We're gonna be making turkey meatballs with some spaghetti and red sauce. Also, this meal prep right here is for two meals, not the typical four to six that I usually make just because I want tonight's dinner as well as tomorrow's lunch. But I'm gonna be measuring out four servings of spaghetti, two per meal. We're gonna be using two servings of our tomato sauce right here that I'll measure out as well. It comes out to be, let's see, uh, half a cup per serving. So we need that. Then for the actual meatballs, we have one pound of ground turkey. This is 93.7. There is 99.1, but I think the little bit of fat is worth it for a more juicier meatball. Then we also need some breadcrumbs. So these are just regular old breadcrumbs. I'm gonna be using two servings, which comes out to be a quarter cup or let's see, 56 grams right there. We also have a teaspoon of minced garlic. We're gonna add salt, pepper, an egg, as well as a little bit of onion powder in there. You could also chop up some onions and add that, but I personally don't love onions as I have mentioned on the channel before, so we're just gonna use a little bit of onion powder for the flavor, but not actual onions in there. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, take our ground beef, put it in there, mix all these ingredients in, and then we'll go ahead and cook up our meatballs on the stove. But as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full exactly how I cook it, everything like that. But basically we're gonna form our meatballs, cook it on the stove. You can also bake it in the oven, cook it on the stove until basically there's a nice crisp around the whole thing and it's not pink on the inside anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna whip this up real quick and show you guys the final product. And about 30 minutes later, we have this all cooked up. Sorry, once again, I will do the entire recipe on a full video, but I just wanted to, yeah, get this together because it is now 9.30 and I need to get to bed in like a half hour and have a lot of calories left. But we have our turkey meatballs right here. You guys can see those. We got some red sauce. Red sauce. We got some pasta under there, turkey meatballs. So I'm gonna read off the macros for this specific meal, and then I'll go ahead and go over the smoothie with you guys as well. So for our turkey meatballs, as well as two servings of pasta and our red sauce, it comes out to be 832 calories. Then that is 102 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat, and 63 grams of protein. That is for half the amount. So it's eight ounces of ground turkey. I think it ends up being like, yeah, half a, half a cup of the um, breadcrumbs or 28 grams. Let's see what else I have on here. Um, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, half an egg. So basically, yeah, all these ingredients I went over split in half. This is half a serving of the meatballs. The other serving is right there. Boom. And that'll fill what I'll have tomorrow. And then our smoothie. This is kind of like my micronutrient bomb for the day. It has spinach. It has one serving of spinach. It has 10 grams of honey right here. It also has two servings or 210 grams of frozen fruit. I have this berry mix right here that you guys also saw in the grocery haul that this full day beating is based on, as well as one and a half cups of almond milk. So that is this smoothie right here. And this smoothie comes out to be 207 calories, 40 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and four grams of protein. So this meal combined ends up being what? Like um, 139 calories, 142 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fat, and 67 grams of protein. And then this also is, we're gonna add one last thing on top, and I'll show you guys after I eat this, but yeah, I need to, Eat kind of fast. <laughs> I, I should be in bed. I should have this meal down, but I had a busy day and that happens all the time. So late last meal. So it came out very, very good. And for the final little bit snack, reward, treat, whatever thing of the day, we're going to have one of these little drumsticks. It comes out to be, let's see, one drumstick is 110 calories, five grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. And that go ahead and takes our day total to 3,736 calories, 441 grams of carbs, 118 grams of fat, and 238 grams of protein, which is pretty spot on. Um, I will say as my calories have been creeping up, I've been slowly having more and more fat in my diet, just because it's a little bit easier to add some fat rather than carbs 
into my diet. If I ever go above 500 grams of carbs, my overall calories normally come down because my fat's pretty low that day. So I have to increase my fats a little bit, just get a little more food in there. But yeah, we'll wrap up the video here once again. A full day of eating based on the grocery haul I had the other day. Sorry it wasn't as in-depth a video as far as cooking and as far as my day. But I just wanna show you guys the food I was eating based on the groceries I got the other day. And that was kind of the goal of this video. So as you guys saw, 3,700 calories, quite a bit of protein in there as well. And this last little sweet treat that I'm struggling to get open right now, but I wanna be careful because I don't wanna break it. And there we go, boom. That is our little ice cream cone. Finish off the day, boom. But yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time, peace.